A miracle escape for hundreds after a passenger plane crashed and burst into flames in Tokyo. The Japanese airline's Airbus A350 struck a Coast Guard flight preparing to leave Haneda Airport loaded with earthquake aid. Five of the six aboard the smaller plane died in the collision. But remarkably, on the Airbus itself, all 379 passengers and crew survived the crash and the devastating fire that followed it. So how did so many make it out alive? Also tonight. Life could well mean life in jail for a young woman who ran over and killed her fiancé in Cheshire. I can't imagine how Ryan was scared at that time. The one person Ryan trusts the most was the person who took his life in such a violent way. Another day, another named storm hits the UK. This time it's Henk causing chaos across the country. That kiss was not consensual. Jenny Hermosa tells the Spanish court that will decide if Rubiales faces trial for sexual assault and... For a semi-final spot, there is no sign of this teenage dream coming to an end. The shot that sent Luke the Nuke to the semis. Littler prepares to make yet more history at Ali Pali. This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening. The brave cabin crew of a Japan Airlines jet, which burst into flames after crashing on a runway in Tokyo, have been praised for safely evacuating all 367 passengers on board. The Airbus A350 collided with a smaller plane as it came in to land at Haneda Airport. Footage shows the airliner filling with smoke as it came to a halt before terrified passengers escaped down emergency slides. Moments later, the plane was engulfed in flames. Sadly, five crew members of the Smaller aircraft were killed when their plane exploded. They were part of a Coast Guard team taking air to help those affected by yesterday's huge earthquake in Western Japan. Neil Connery now on the tragedy that came so close to being a major disaster. OK, Carl Dinan at Westminster, thank you. And uh, still to come on the ITV Evening News, we're going to be looking in more detail at what impact the doctor's strike could actually have. The longest walkout in NHS history begins tomorrow morning with significant disruption to care predicted. Also ahead. He was a lovely boy and this is such a terrible loss, it really is. He just had his future ahead of him. A 16-year-old who was finally finding his way in life. A grandfather's tribute to a young man stabbed to death on New Year's Eve. And the football player testifying in a criminal case after that kiss at last year's Women's World Cup. I'm sure you remember the moment sparked an international debate around the behaviour of those in power. So join me for all that and more after this break. See you then. Welcome back. The grandfather of a 16-year-old boy who was stabbed to death in North London on New Year's Eve has told ITV News he was a lovely boy. Harry Pittman was knifed shortly before midnight on Primrose Hill, where many people had gathered to watch the fireworks. Paying tribute today, Philip Pittman, his grandfather, said his grandson's death had been a terrible loss. The 16-year-old boy was arrested and has now been released on bail. Nick Mollis has the latest. You are watching the ITV Evening News. It's uh, just gone seven o'clock now and here's what's still ahead before Emmerdale. The kiss that overshadowed the Women's World Cup final now taking centre stage in court. The end of the road for Wayne Rooney at Birmingham after just 83 days in charge. Oh, wait, I'm dreaming. I'm two games away. The teenage darts sensation hoping to make history tonight and... 
time on the Farne Islands where the increasingly stormy weather is causing seal pups to become separated from their mothers. That's all still to come, but before that, uh, claims that the crisis in the UK's asylum, si asylum system, which we reported on earlier, is pushing more refugees onto the streets. Once asylum claims have been approved, refugees are given just a few weeks to find alternative accommodation. Now, just before Christmas, the Home Office cut that to just seven days, which led to a surge in the number of homeless refugees and forced that policy eventually to be suspended. But it's not clear for how long. Charities now fear that with council homes in such short supply, it could see tens of thousands forced onto the streets. In this special report, our North of England correspondent Rachel Townsend heard from some of those left homeless. They've asked us to protect their identities because of fears for their safety. OK, let's get an update on what's making the news tonight. And close to 400 people narrowly escaped with their lives after a passenger plane crashed into another aircraft in Tokyo and burst into flames. All passengers and crew survived on the Airbus, but five people on board the smaller aircraft were killed. A top Hamas official has been killed in a blast in Beirut. Salah Aruri was founder of Hamas military wing. The blast is suspected to have been caused by an Israeli drone attack. And here, the Met Office has warned that strong winds and heavy rains brought by Storm Henk could cause power cuts, disrupt travel and even cause injuries. Now, the World Cup winner, Jenny Hermoso, has told a court in Madrid that the kiss from the former Football Federation president, Luis Rubiales, had not been consensual. The player was giving evidence in a hearing which will decide whether or not Mr Rubiales should stand trial for sexual assault. From the court in Madrid, here's Ellie Pitt. Still to come before Emmerdale, how stormier conditions are leading to a decline in the country's seal population. And the 16-year-old who's just two wins away from being world dance champion. What do you join me for all that after this short break? See you then. Welcome back. Now, we heard earlier how Storm Henk is impacting many people around the UK today, but the increasing number of storms is also affecting our wildlife. More seal pups are becoming separated from their mothers, leading to an increase in rescues and a shortage of places for them at special centres. Amy Welsh went out with some rescue teams on the Farne Islands to see how they are trying to help. Good luck, Luke. That's all from us. The weather's next, and then Julie's here at 10. But from me and the evening news team, bye bye. It's a cold and wet outlook, with some heavy downpours throughout the day. Heinz Big Soup, sponsors ITV National Weather.